So you guys were nice about the last video. Like, really nice. And I thought I should pay you back a little. So I took a look at my plans for the six main parts of the server, and I just decided to say fuck it. Let's throw in something extra, making the server ready enough for all of you to give it a go. There are three main components of this project. First is making a lobby that players join to where they can hang out. Second is making ranks for the players that give them permissions to play the mini games. And the third is actually making the first mini game for people to try out. To begin, I got my friend in a call and we built the lobby area. We wanted a clean aesthetic with something a bit different in each of the four edges. I'll let you explore the map yourself, but we definitely put some love into it. I hope to expand it a bit more in the future, but for now, I think this should be easily big enough. The only coding to mention here was saving the structure and making a specific lobby world, but more on worlds later. Once we'd made the lobby world, we wanted to make a rank that showed players were part of our beta testing community. This meant we needed somewhere to chat off game and for people to be able to submit requests to be beta testers and coders. The obvious answer was a Discord. I have to admit, we did spend a little too long making a ton of channels, but hopefully you guys enjoy hanging out with me and each other. For the first three days of the server dropping, I'm actually just giving beta testers to anyone who joins, but after that, you'll have to apply on the Discord. If you're interested, the coding for the rank system is pretty simple. We just use scoreboards which have teams, and then make a special team prefix. In the future, this might get more complicated. Say, if I wanted a title for someone's rank, their most impressive achievement and their level. But for now, it's super easy to implement. The final part was the most challenging, actually making the minigame. To begin, I created this little selector compass, which you're given when you join the game. It opens a rather bare GUI for the time being, with a single diamond sword leading to the strength challenge from last video. Um, actually, it's time to explain just how the player is taken from the lobby to their instance of the strength challenge. Essentially, in Minecraft, there are a lot of worlds, including the overworld, nether, and end. We can create our own world, like the lobby. But the lobby's easy. All players can go to one instance, at least for now. The strength challenge is harder. Instead, we check for strength challenge 1. If it's unloaded, we load it and let the player use it. Simple enough. But if it's loaded, it's in use, and so we move on. Now we check for Strength Challenge 2 the same way. Say this one's unloaded, so the player can use it. But there's a catch. If the player gets to a Strength Challenge that has never been used, like Strength Challenge 8, then, and only then, the server creates a whole new world for this challenge. The key is that challenges try to be loaded or unloaded, as this takes less lag, and only create an entirely new world when strictly necessary. This should hopefully make the experience smooth and mean that everyone gets their own challenge. The strength arena looked kind of ugly last time, so me and my friend also built a new arena for you guys to enjoy. With loads more detail and much more space to kite, it's now actually possible to get into the later rounds of the game. The final thing that I really wanted was a personal high score for each player to give some sort of competitive aspect. Since I already had a player round variable, I could just check this against their current high score and set it if it's higher. You can check your high score on the same sword you used to access the arena. Many other little quality of life things were also needed for this project. A couple examples are killing players who fall in the void, making round progress save if you disconnect, and setting the player to adventure mode when they join. All in all, I hope the server should now be playable for everyone, even if it is still really in the earliest, earliest beta. Thank you again for the kind words last video, and for the first time, here is the IP.